Frequency Polygons, Grade C GCSE, Level 7 National Curriculum. Okay, a frequency polygon um, technically comes from a histogram. If we draw a histogram, which would be some, um, a, some that looks like lots of bars, then if we put a cross at the midpoint of the top of each bar and join them up, the resultant line graph is a frequency polygon. Now for this question we have, because it's a grade C level 7 question, we have uh, equal intervals. So they're not anything complicated that you would have in a proper histogram. So all we need to do, because we've got frequencies on the side here, um, we need to just plot the midpoint and the frequency. So the midpoint of 0 to 4 is at 2 and the, the frequency is 10 so we put an X at the top of that in the middle of that interval. The next one we've got is 17 which is at between 4 and 8. Um, being careful to look at our scale we can see that we've got 10 squares is 5 so every 2 squares is 1. So if we want to plot 17 we have to count up two squares, then another two squares to there. So that's plotted at 6. And then 8 to 12 is at 10. We plot the number 28, which is going to be four squares less than 30. And then we've got 25, which is going to be plotted at 14. And then we've got um, 20, which is going to be plotted at 18, which is there. And once we've got those, we need to join them up. Now, essentially, there's one mark for um, plotting the points and one mark for joining them up. And um, where would we lose marks? We'd lose marks if we didn't get it in the center. If we got the right heights and everything was consistent, maybe we plot them at the beginning or the end and put them all in the right positions consistently to the end then we would get one out of two marks if they were the right heights. Um, but uh, if you don't draw the polygon or mark on these points, you're not going to get any marks. If you did draw a histogram first, like I had down here, you wouldn't lose any extra marks um, as long as the points are plotted and you've drawn the polygon in.